Miss Pantry. So today I get to bring you along for a really special video. Those of you that follow me on Facebook already know about this, but uh, I won a big green egg on a Facebook contest. I couldn't believe it was true and um, anyway, I, I just am so very, very thankful. This is a uh, grill that I've wanted forever and I just wasn't ready to put out that kind of money. And so, anyways, uh, I'm going to share my first cook on this and show you how easy it was to run. And I will say, I absolutely am in love with this thing. And um, in fact, today I'm going to do pizza. <laughs> I can't wait. So I've been able to cook on it a couple of times now. Um, the other thing I want to say is I apologize for the taste test at the end as I had three men staring at me and wanting to eat and threatening to take my plate. <laughs> anyway, so I was quick, but it was the most delicious, juicy chicken, smoked chicken. Oh my gosh, it was absolutely fabulous. So I hope it brings you along and I hope you check out all the links that I've left for you in the show more box below. And then um, if you like Big Green Egg Cooking, give me a thumbs up and maybe share it on your Facebook page because I've tried to go step by step on how to use it. It was super simple. Come on. Okay, so here's my first <laughs> look for you guys at my uh, new big green egg. Isn't she beautiful? And we're going to make some chicken because the first couple times you use it, you really need to cook at lower temperatures, 350 and below. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to put a little smoke on the chicken first and then we'll get it up to 350, 325, something in there. And I have plenty of time between now and dinner to make this happen, so I'm gonna light it. I'm so excited. And I, whoever posted this on Facebook, again, thank you, thank you, because you shared the link and I went over and entered the contest and it just shows you that you can win something. I don't, I tried to win stuff for the last three or four years and this was definitely worth waiting for because I've wanted one of these for years. So let's get it started. Okay, so I've opened the bottom and I've left the screen closed, but the thing is totally open. We've got the vents on the top are also open. Um, and now I've got a starter block down in the center and I filled this pretty good because um, I want to make sure that it cooks pretty slow. So the more full you have the... Um, cooking area with charcoal and this is the all-natural organic lump charcoal that Big Green Egg has and, and these are their starter bricks. I just put one in the middle and we're gonna make sure that this gets starts lighting everybody up and get our chicken prepped and pretty excited. Can you see that little bitty flame? Yeah. So we're going to let these coals get hot and then we'll shut it down and get our um, setter plate in here and uh, which can also double for, well you use it when you're baking, you use it for indirect heat, you also use it, um, you can use it as a pizza stone if you want. So we're going to go ahead and put some coals right up there next to that, get that going and I'll bring you back when I'm putting something else on. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. can't believe it's mine. I really can't. Okay, so I've got my um, setter plate on, and it's, it's red hot under there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to go ahead and put some wood chunks. I'm going to use apple wood today to put a little smoke on here, and we're going to damp the top down a little bit, and down here at the bottom, this bottom vent, whoops, this bottom vent here, is going to be closed down to uh, maybe a quarter of an inch of airflow, and that'll get us to smoking temperature around 225, hopefully 220. So, oh, I gotta go get my chicken ready, but we're gonna get it to temperature and start smoking. Okay, so I've got this just above 300 degrees, and I mean, I've got this damped down to a sliver on the top here and less than a quarter of an inch on the bottom. So, I want to get this chicken on though, and then it, it should cool down even further. I'll just keep it damped down, but you got to burp these. Um, I've watched all of you guys out there, and I also, you know, I've researched this for years because I had planned on eventually being able to buy one, but anyway, so you burp it, 
let some air in there so you don't get a backdraft. And it's already my uh, little bit of liquid there is already boiling. So get these wings turned under. Doesn't really matter, honestly. Let's push push her up here. And that's a beautiful thing. Now it's gonna heat up when you got it open. So let's shut her down. And we should be, now we're at 200. I love it, okay. Because we let some air in there. So I wanna stay right around 225 for a while. And then once I get, you know, an hour, hour and a half of smoke on it, and it's getting closer to dinner time, then I can open up the vent and let a little more heat in there and get it up to 350. But for right now, I just want some smoke on there. So I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just going to give you a close up of where we're at. We're at about 250, and I'll show you the top damp damper has just a sliver open. Sliver. Really, really, really tiny. And then we're going to come down here and I'm going to show you how tiny this opening is. Look at that. Oh, my dog's right in my face. Okay, stop. See how tiny? Oh my gosh, these ceramic big green eggs are amazing. Okay, guys, this is the end result of my chicken, my first cook on the big green egg and baked potato salad. And I'll taste that. Mm. Little thigh meat right there. Okay. It looks really good. It's nice and juicy. Mm. <laughs> These guys are staring at me. That is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I can't wait for the next cook. So uh, I think next time we're going to probably do something pork. Alright guys, I hope you stay tuned and if you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe!